a wife discovers that her husband has betrayed her marriage and then she secretly drugs him. The girl, Kelly, is a smart lawyer and by chance she befriends the funny Mark. The two soon fall in love. Mark is romantic and considerate and all his behavior is so perfect. But he has a secret. That is, he has long been married. Mark's wife is a not to bright housewife. His wife has always focused on the family and her husband. To his words are also obedient. But she always did not know what her husband was doing outside. The day Mark and Kelly had a fight. In order to ease the relationship between them. Kelly specially dressed up and then come play with Mike. She wanted to give Mark a surprise. But the door was opened by Mark's wife. Kylie realized that she had been tricked. She panicked and tried to leave. But fell into the grass. The wife saw Carrie's strange behavior and found her number from her husband's cell phone from which she discovered the problem. So she took the initiative to find Carrie. And once they met, they confessed. Carrie said she was the victim and had no idea that he was married. The two women went for a drink together, cursing the man. The wife had been married to Mark for so long that she had since lost her life. She has no job, no friends, and no money. She doesn't even know who to talk to about her husband's affair. So she has to go to Kelly frequently for drinks. Gradually, the two became close friends. The two of them became close friends, and Carrie said she would completely cut off contact with Mark. The day Mark returned from a business trip, his wife overheard him talking on the phone, and he was saying goodnight to someone else. She was furious, thinking that Kylie had lied to her and was still has a connection with her husband. So she asked her out to fight with her. Then the two discover that something is wrong and it seems that Mark has another lover besides Carrie. They decide to join forces and uncover the truth about this scumbag. This weekend Mark lied about having to work late on a business trip, and his wife at home pretended to be friendly to see him out. Then she turned around and changed into another set of clothes, and quickly contacted Carrie who was waiting in the shadows. They caught up with Mark in his car and followed him all the way to the beach. The wife's brother also joined the operation. They watched from the beach house and finally saw the appearance of Mark and another lover. The other lover was a beautiful young woman with a hot body, which made them extremely imbalanced. They rushed to Bella and told her the truth. It turns out that she was also deceived by Mark. Mark even lied to her, saying that his wife had cheated on him and then planned to divorce him. The three women got together to scold the scum, then found each other's personalities are not bad. So they became close friends. They chatted and drank together and took walks on the beach. In the process, Carrie also met his wife's brother, but happy times are always short-lived. The wife hadn't divorced Mark yet and still had to return to him. So the women discussed the need to make sure Mark gets punished. The three women got together to discuss a revenge plan. They began to plan how to take revenge on Mark. The wife, who lived with him, was the easiest person to implement the plan. She could add some hormone pills to his food, add depilatory to his shampoo, and make him think something was wrong with his body. Carrie, on the other hand, faked getting back together with Mark and added laxatives to his water while we were eating together. However, these are only part of the plan. Together. Carrie and Bella investigate Mark's financial situation and discover that Mark is not only unfaithful to his relation, but also involved in fraud. He has registered a number of shell companies overseas, and the contracts that are registered are the ones that he has coaxed his wife into signing. They had to find a way to expose his scam and keep his wife from becoming his scapegoat. So they teamed up together and quietly followed Mark on his business trip, thus investigating the evidence of his crime. The women took care of everything and then returned home and made an appointment to meet Mark at his lawyer's office. Mark saw the three women and knew that something was wrong. But it was too late. His wife asked him to divorce and he lied that he loved her deeply. The three women looked at him but he still refused to admit it. Then they took out the documents they had already prepared. After investigating and searching all the information and evidence, they canceled all the companies registered in his wife's name. The money Mark had cheated him out of was also used to pay off his debts. He saw that the documents showed that his account was zero and Mark was very angry. He scolded the three women for cheating him out of his money and his partner showed up at this point and announced that he was fired. This final blow leaves the scumbag very desperate. He broke down and checked his account and finally smashed the glass in despair. He got the punishment he deserved. The three women witnessed the scene before them and could not help but high five. After this revenge battle, the three women became very good friends. By the end of the story, they are all working for a better life. The wife throws away the ring and reclaims her life. She concentrates on her work and becomes an excellent chairman of the board. Carrie also falls in love with the wife's brother and they get married shortly after.
Bella also found true love in the form of Carrie's single father. They travel around the world together, but Kelly still can't accept the fact that she has to call Bella mom. Three beautiful women, finally is to get rid of the abominable scum, to get a happy life. This revenge plan also perfectly realized.